Did you know that the United States has more museums than Starbucks and McDonald's combined? Yes, you heard that right. This land of the free, home of the brave, is also the home of an astonishing number of museums. From the quirky to the educational, America's museums are as diverse as its people. It's a country where history, art, and even the bizarrely fascinating have found a home in museums. So, if you're ever bored in the U.S., you know where to go. Hint. It's not the fast food joint. What's more American than apple pie? Surprisingly, it's pizza. Yes, my friends, the land of the free and the home of the brave is also the land of the pizza lovers. How much do we love pizza, you ask? Well, let me uh, put it this way. Americans collectively devour approximately 100 acres of pizza each day. That's right, 100 acres. To put that into perspective, that's roughly 78 football fields. But wait, there's more. It doesn't stop at the daily consumption. We're talking about 350 pizza slices being consumed every second. Yes, every tick of the clock, 350 slices of pizza are disappearing into happy American bellies. That's more th than the total number of rooms in the White House. So next time you're munching on a pizza slice, just remember, you're not alone. You're part of a nationwide pizza party. In the land of the free, there are some laws that might just tie you in knots. Now let's embark on a journey through some of the quirkiest laws that actually exist in the United States. Let's start in sunny Arizona, where you might think anything goes, but not so fast. Here it's illegal for donkeys to sleep in bathtubs. Yes, you heard that right. If you thought your pet donkey deserved a spa day, you might want to think again. Next, we travel to the heartland of Indiana. You might be tempted to show off your survival skills by catching a fish with your bare hands. but. Hold on there, barehanded angler, it's against the law. So, you better stick to the old-fashioned fishing rod. Finally, we land in Georgia, where things get even stranger. Here, it's illegal to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole or street lamp. Now, we're not quite sure how often this situation arises, but in Georgia, they're prepared for it. These laws may seem ridiculous, and it's hard to imagine how they came into existence, but they're real, and they're still on the books. So the next time you're planning a fishing trip or a sleepover with your pet donkey, you might want to reconsider. After all, in the land of the free, you're also free to get tangled up in some pretty bizarre laws. So, if you were planning a fishing trip or a sleepover with your pet donkey, you might want to reconsider. Guess what's the official state snack of Utah? No, it's not a burger or fries. It's jello. Yes, you heard that right. The wiggly, jiggly, fruity dessert has a special place in the hearts of Utah residents. It's no secret that Americans love their jello, but Utah takes this love to a whole new level. In the year 2001, Utah declared jello as their official state snack. It's been said that Utahns consume more jello per capita than any other state in the US. Now, that's a lot of gelatin. It's almost like Utah has a special jelly bond with jello. This Jell-O love affair has even led to the creation of Jell-O Week in Utah. Yes, a whole week dedicated to celebrating and consuming this wobbly treat. So, whether it's lime, cherry, or even the ever-controversial grape flavor, Utahns are all about that Jell-O life. So, if you're ever in Utah, don't forget to pack your Jell-O spoon. Moving on, let's take a detour into the United States of Quirky Records. Yes, you heard it right, when it comes to setting unique, and downright bizarre world records, the U.S. doesn't shy away. First off, did you know that the largest collection of rubber ducks is held by an American? Charlotte Lee from Washington State has amassed an astonishing collection of over 9,000 rubber ducks. Talk about making a splash, but that's not all. In the city that never sleeps New York, 358 people set the record for the most people twerking simultaneously. Now that's a sight that must have been shaking with excitement. And who could forget the largest gathering of people dressed as Rosie the Riveter? A whopping 3,755 Rosies gathered at the Rosie the Riveter WW2 Homefront National Historical Park in Richmond, California, making it a sight for sore eyes. So the next time you think of breaking a world record, remember, you've got some stiff competition. In the United States of Absurdities, it seems there's no limit to the lengths some will go to etch their names in the annals of quirky history. That sure was a thrilling journey through the United States of absurdities. We dove into an ocean of museums, savored the great American pizza consumption, 
and laughed at some truly ridiculous laws. We even discovered Utah's peculiar passion for jello and the nation's enthusiasm for quirky records. This land is not just the home of the brave and the free, but also the hilariously peculiar. If you enjoyed this ride and want to explore more, please subscribe to InfoFusion for more intriguing content. We hope you enjoyed this roller coaster ride through the United States of Absurdities. Now it's time to hear from you, our beloved viewers. In the comments section below, share your views on the absurdities we've explored today. Got any more hilarious or peculiar facts about the US that you'd like us to delve into? We're all ears. We can't wait to read your comments and learn more about the hilariously peculiar United States. Until next time, keep exploring and keep laughing.